enough to do me like you did. You ain't have to play those silly games. Sometimes feelings don't stay the same. It's not too much to ask for. In today's vlogmas we're going to be doing a tour of turtles nest villa it is a beautiful villa located in treasure beach saint elizabeth it's honestly so beautiful i hope you guys enjoyed the b-roll in the beginning um this is what the outside of the villa is looking like it is a three bedroom villa there's a swimming pool and if you can peek all the way through the back the seas right there so let's start off with the front how beautiful it is to come home you know because when you're staying in a villa for a couple days or even if you rent it out for a couple weeks it will be your home for a little while so you can sit out here and enjoy the beautiful turtles nest villa and some cactuses and some plants outside <laughs> and you have a little buddy here to keep you company and there's another dog here they're really cute and they're very kind no barking so let's talk about this door this door screams architectural digest it swings open so you can stop it with a little door stopper right there but it swings open it's just really beautiful so let's go on inside the living room let's start off i love the decor like everything fits everything has a purpose the artwork is also really nice and you can watch your tv you have internet so that's another thing i want to bring up to you guys you are a bit secluded out here but you're not far from the world you have your technology you have your internet um let's just go in on some of these pieces it's just really amazing also they have their social distancing protocols right here and there's also hand sanitizer right outside the house this is the other side i just love everything everything down to the paintings everything actually this table is really nice ah towels and a thermometer that's really nice a temperature checker i'm not sure it's caught the thermometer i'm not gonna look around at anything else but more beach towels so that's really nice oh, it's just so amazing Thanks, hey. i know we haven't talked i'm paranoid taking way too long now i'm annoyed i don't really care to make this work I'm not being rude it's just the truth things change 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 Like I said, there are three bedrooms. There is a bedroom over here, and there are two bedrooms upstairs. Each bedroom has their own bathroom. There's some pool stuff right down here. A little mirror so you can check yourself out at the end of the day. 
at the beginning of the day. And these are beautiful. I wonder if they're local artwork. Ah, I believe they are local artwork. So this is amazing, very beautiful. This is one of the bedrooms downstairs. And also there's this little nook right here. It's um, Harry Potter closet, because <laughs> I don't really know the actual name. Uh, it's not, but it's a little, I guess it's just where your little utilities and lights are. I just love how, not industrial, but it's plyboard, I would assume, and just some regular wooden doors, but it looks really nice in the area. It doesn't have to be fancy to look beautiful. And I really like that about this place. Like everything is just very at home. You feel like you're at home. You know, you don't feel like you're in a hotel excluded from the rest of the island. Like everything has a purpose. Everything looks really beautiful in its little space. Things change. Things change. head on over to the room a closet right here and let's see because I know some people like to hang up their clothes there's an ironing board there's a blow dryer hangers extra pillows um, closet space up top and then this beautiful View. So you're all set on this department. It's amazing. I love the decor. And all throughout, you have like splashes of blue and wooden details and brown. It's just really nice. This little turtle's nest. And um, a little turtle. It's really cute. Let's see what's nothing in the side tables. And I'm pretty sure the bed is super comfy. You also have a mirror. Hey guys. <laughs> Make sure you like this video. <laughs> this is the bathroom. There's a bit of an echo in here, so I apologize for that. But you have your towels and everything, your tissue, and you have soap. So that's really good. I love the tiles. I love, um, it's gray. Yeah, it's gray. I love this. This reminds me of the ocean. You know, like sand. So, and the overhead shower. Beautiful. Let me know what you guys think of this first bedroom. And, oh, I love the small turtle details. So, this too is really nice. It's very calm peaceful let's head on upstairs to look at the other two bedrooms here's another artwork right by the door things change things change things change things change things change cement staircases so that oh my gosh i can just imagine it feels nice and cool 
it already feels really nice and cool because we're right along the sea and that sea breeze, that sea air, that salt smell, the atmosphere, amazing. So I will get out to the patio or the deck, the lounge, whatever you call it, wherever you're from. Let's head on over into this bedroom, then we'll circle all the way around. This bedroom is so beautiful. I love the views that you get from both sides of the room. You don't feel like you're in an enclosed room. You can wake up and look out at the sea, look out at the deck, or you can look over at the hills and at your neighbors. So it's really not bad at all. I like the light wood and the contrast with the dark wood. Everything is just so amazing. That's my favorite word. Let's go look at this artwork, guys. This map of Jamaica. Really pretty. I like it. Um, Port Royal, Blue Fields, which is by Westmoreland, and obviously Port Royal is by Kingston. Um, ooh, this is nice. And then another turtle, which is really nice. The AC is running, so just to cool down the room. Sasha and I are filming, we're just getting everything all nice. I'll be showing you that soon. I'll be going right outside again. But let me show you the bathroom. And let's head on downstairs again with the tiles. I love these tiles. This one's a lighter one compared to downstairs and the turtle detailing as well. Turtle nest, the inside wood matches the one outside of the room. Well, inside of the room, outside of the bathroom. And this sink. Everything just looks well put together. Again. <laughs> so very similar. Again, more views. All right, let's go outside to the outside deck, the roof deck. You have your closet. I'm pretty sure it has the same amenities as downstairs. I'm using the same adjectives. Beautiful, amazing, breathtaking, awesome, because that's exactly what it is. Let's look and see what they have out here for us. Some more towels and pillows. Areas to sit down. I'm pretty sure they took it off because it rained. You don't want your pillows soaking with water. So yes. Oh my God, my neighbor used to have a wind chime. <laughs> Beautiful. 
beautiful. And also like, it's very earth tone. This is the vibe I'm getting. Very earth tone, very beautiful. It's like a modern earth tone mixture. This is what it's looking like from the sea view perspective. Sasha and I's favorite part. We can't wait to dive in and the sea. I can't wait to take you guys down there, get some footage and show y'all how beautiful it's looking. Amazing. All right, let's go check out the other bedroom. And before we even get there, let's imagine this is breathtaking. All right, let's head on into the second bedroom. Well, actually the third bedroom. This is the second bedroom on the second floor. Fire extinguisher, so you know you're all set. Welcome to Turtles Nest Villa, social distancing, six feet apart. Thank you and a wonderful stay. So let me push up the bedroom door. Have your closet again. Ooh, this one's a walk-in closet. Oh, this is my type of closet. And a lot of extra cushions, of course. This is nice. Let me see where the... Yep, that's the switch for the closet. Let me actually see the switch for the rooms. And this is the switch for the hallway. So you have a lot of lighting in all of the rooms, especially coming from the windows, of course. So what's very special about this room is that it has two sleeping arrangement so if you come with a large family let's say you book with a good amount of people two people can fit on this bed or if you have you know your two grandkids or your two kids they can fit here the bedroom downstairs and the bedroom upstairs you have a lot of sleeping space guys this would be a perfect stay to book for families or if you're having a girl's trip and if you're having a birthday party of some sort this will just be the perfect place to book. Um, I'm not being paid for any of my opinions. I'm just letting you know as it is, as you can see as well. If you're having a birthday party and you want to bring your family out here for the weekend, have the party on Saturday, come Friday, leave Sunday, you have enough sleeping arrangements for everybody. So this is really nice. Again, with the wood the different shades of wood but they all tie in so well that cactus i'm actually going to turn this off because we've decided what rooms we're gonna stay in i love these um alarm clocks i've only ever seen them in movies i've never really used an alarm clock like that but i also love the fishing details you can see it over on the other side as well all right let's go downstairs because you've only just begun to see the beautifulness that is turtles nest villa yeah, yeah, yeah. i know those guys left you bleeding on the pavement so why don't we try just to heal it for the
Imagine cooking all your meals up in this kitchen, girl. Amazing. I'm just saying, there's a wasp in here, but that's okay. They're just trying to find their way out. Um, yes, we're chefing it up in here. We're washing all the fruits and the vegetables, and the kids are outside. The girls are outside with the wine, chilling, and the hammock, chilling by the pool sunbathing i'm just giving you guys a perception of what this of what your life would look like if you're here um it's just so nice let me tell you this kitchen is nice i actually really like these type of um sinks they remind me of restaurant sinks especially let me go back around hold up let me go back around and show y'all what i'm talking about the sink the sink i love these sinks so you have everything you'd need microwave you have stove you have a fridge you have a bunch of cups a bunch of mugs a good amount of plates even small plates and it just still fits in with the beautiful colors the bright pigmentation colors bright pigmented colors <laughs> Also, you have your sugar. You have a lot of things. I'm not sure how this opens. So let's not open it. <laughs> you have tray. You want to serve your husband or your wife breakfast in bed. Listen, I'm just, I'm just helping you out over here. Make your tea. Make your coffee. Cutting boards, toast, a bunch of utensils. All you have to do is bring yourself and bring good vibes. Let's see also have a blender you have basically everything you need i kid you not more cups and plates so you're all set in that department a bunch of pots and pans a bunch of pots and pans you're all set guys let's see a bunch of baking stuff. You are all set. I just want to show y'all that you got everything you would need. All you have to do is bring yourself. Oh, these are so cute. They match the utensils. The other utensils are the cut. These are cutleries. You know what I mean. Let's see. You have batteries. There's so much things in here, guys. You're all set. You're literally set. This dining setup is beautiful as well. I really like it. Look at the beach sign, and it's pointing to the beach. I can't even. I hope you can hear the, um, the breeze. Actually, this is really beautiful. Whoever did this is really very creative because she not only extended the pictures onto the frame but the colors it makes it seem like they're swimming out of the frame it's really nice the artwork in this place is amazing it's very creative is this real it's a metal piece oh wow you have another fire extinguisher. So just in case you're not that handy in the kitchen, I'm not saying everybody's the best cook, but you do have a fire extinguisher. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point. But this kitchen though, you can't tell me this isn't a beautiful kitchen. And the wooden de detail is what really ties this place in. Like, it's beautiful. The wood is very nice and i know you guys love wood because when i bought that mahogany dresser i know you guys loved it very much so this is probably right up your alley i've never seen something that looks like this this is really nice you can access it from behind 
the counter so that's really nice this is what we were looking down at from the bedroom from the first bedroom upstairs that we went into also this is the second bedroom you can exit over here and then we have some tools and stuff taking way too long now i'm annoyed i don't really care to make this work i'm not being rude it's just the truth Things change, 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 a bittersweet memory, just like we Got your wind coming in but your mosquitoes be staying out because they're not welcome <laughs> this is really nice okay let's go on outside sitting area just in case you bring a big family and they can't all fit at the table you got enough space out here for them you got more you have a picnic table here and you have a table over on the patio so more hand sanitizing stations so your hands are all clean and nice this leads right back into the living room and this goes to the side of the property oh look at the little succulents they're so beautiful. Y'all know I love plants. The hammock. Katama has a hammock and we were all in love with it. So Turtle's Nest Villa has a hammock as well. And a pool that I cannot wait to go into. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. I actually want to see if it's cold. So I'm going to dip my toe in real quick. Because we will be going in later. It is a little bit cold, but you get used to it pretty quickly. So this is amazing. Again, this is where we were upstairs. The dining. I think that's just the pump for either the whole house or the pool. And you've got your pool rules. So if you do come, swim at your own risk, no diving and be very careful. This is just so beautiful. Ooh. Let's go on over. Oh, let me tell you how deep the pool is. It says four foot one here, four feet one. And over here is eight, seven. So make sure you can swim or four. F Let's read that from the right way. <laughs> there we go. Four feet. Yeah, we're good. Because I'm five foot four, so it will probably reach up to my neck area, I believe. But just be very careful if you come and when you go swimming. Also, we're going to talk about swimming over by the sea. Uh, it's really not advised to, especially when it's very rough. Um, if you come here and they tell you not to go swimming, don't go swimming. Just swim in the pool. You have a beautiful pool right there. Come over and enjoy, read a book, listen to some nice sultry music as you listen to the waves. Like, this is very unreal. This view is unreal. You can come out here and sunbathe if that's your thing. take a walk right down to the beach 
Your beach is literally right outside your doors. This is beautiful. We got some more fishes. really nice even get a cup of tea in the morning and come out here and watch the sunrise I'm gonna have to find out which direction is east so we can catch the beautifulness that is Turtle's Nest Villa <laughs> this is amazing some more fishes I think you can probably put a little light in here and have it glow or something. Let's walk down to the beach real quick. I'm gonna actually kick my shoes off. The sand is very hot. <laughs> okay, that was a fail. <laughs> let's keep our shoes on. And let's walk down. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to come out here later tonight. Or early tomorrow morning. Because the sand is extremely hot. But it's extremely beautiful. Wow.